Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's episode we're gonna have an initial look at the Bitcoin price and also we're gonna have a look on Ethereum and also on Chainlink quickly. Because currently the party is going on in some altcoins, we are seeing a lot of pumps today but also some dumps and we're gonna have a look especially on Chainlink, on Ethereum, the price action and Bitcoin currently is still trading sideways even though yesterday we had here a buy signal we went long but currently Bitcoin is already struggling here at this $11,850 resistance so the problem is that currently we are not able to push higher towards 12k and retest this resistance up here so for now I have closed my long position because I still think as long as we're trading here between our resistance currently at 11,850 and our support here at 11,700 we could see here a potential breakout to the upside or to the downside at any Time. And don't forget that we potentially are still in this big rising wedge, which is a bearish pattern. It is possible that we will go once more up towards 12k to retest it and then hopefully also be able to break it to the upside. But if we are failing to break through here or already now to fail here to break again above 11,850, then this could be a sign that we will see a potential breakout here to the downside towards our bearish targets of around 10,000 dollar and here in the one hour time frame you can see that currently we are trading below the 220 moving average also the RSI is starting to trade here below the 50 level and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band you can see that we are currently trading in the lower part so we have now this resistance here at 11,850 and the potential support at 11,810 stochastic is shifted to the downside and MACD flat so here in the one hour you can see clearly that Bitcoin is just trading sideways and we are waiting here for a potential breakout I still think there is a high chance that we could see another leg up towards 12 Okay, that's why I went also long yesterday but since we are already struggling here to break through this 11,850 and also the 3 and 4 hour time frame are not looking too bullish I think it is very wise to close for now the trades and wait here for a breakout out of this pattern that we are in currently and that's why we can switch over now into the four hour time frame because here you can see clearly that we cannot close a four hour candle above the 20 moving average and currently we're again getting rejected the good thing is that the more we test this moving average the more likely it is that we will break it to the upside but since we got here so much resistance and also we didn't go above the 50 level in the RSI so currently we're getting rejected from the 50 level here we could see a potential sell off here at least towards $11,700 where our support is lining up and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band in the 4 hour also here you can see that currently we are trading between the two moving averages so here also we are waiting for a 4 hour close above or below these two moving averages which also are currently between 11,810 and 11,800 50. We had here a bearish cross in the stochastic, MACD is still flat here, so also here it looks like that we could have another retest down here towards $11,700 to $11,600 before maybe we are gearing up and again to test this upper area here of around $12,000. So be careful in case that you are longing or shorting right now, use a stop loss because currently I think volatility is coming back and we could see also here in Bitcoin some moves here between $11,000 1600 and 12,000 before we're gonna have a clear breakout from this big pattern that we are in currently these two blue lines as you can see here are forming currently a rising wedge which is a bearish pattern so we are still within this pattern and this green line that you can see which currently is acting as a resistance was our previous support when we broke out from 10k and then we started this parabolic run here and we always bounce at this green line so since we crashed below this trend line you can see that the price is getting rejected from this trend line all right and now let's go over into the daily time frame 
because here the bullish thing is that we're still trading above the 20 daily moving average which currently is at $11,600 so as long as we are closing daily candles above this price level we should be still shifted to the upside and we should try to catch the dips try to long the dips buy the dips but as soon as we're going to have a daily close below then this could be a warning sign that we will eventually crash down towards our bearish targets down here at around 10k to 9 thousand dollar also based on the rsi you can see that we're cooling off here and if we have a successful bounce from the 50 level here so if we're coming down to retest the 20 and bounce again from it we should have enough fuel here to the upside to go and retest and potentially also break $12,000. The problem here is that in my own indicator, I got a sell signal some days ago. So let's see if this is gonna play out or not. But currently, as long as we're keeping up with our main supports, everything should be okay. And we should be still shifted to the upside. But be prepared also for the scenario, if we're starting to break out here to the downside, to open up shorts or take out some profits and rebuy cheaper in once we're gonna reach our bearish targets down here. I think we're gonna have some initial support at around $10,500. But if we are crashing down here, I think it is very likely that we are also coming down here to close also the CME gap that we have down here at $9,600. All right, and now let's have a look here into the Bollinger Band in the daily, because also here you can see that currently we're trading between these two moving averages here, between 11,900 and 11,700. So also here we're waiting for a daily close above or below one of these moving averages. Also MACD still shifted to the downside, could have a bullish cross here pretty soon. And if we have a look into the MACD, you can see that also here we are looking quite toppy and it's still shifted to the downside. So there is a very high chance that we will still see some more pressure to the downside, even though stochastic is now oversold and we could see an initial bounce from it. But as I told you, it's really gonna depend where we're gonna close four hour and daily candles. This will indicate if we are able to push through again towards 12K or if we are losing here pull power, then we're gonna most likely break out to the downside towards our bearish targets down below here. And if we go to the most important time frame here, the weekly, here you can see that the 20 weekly moving average, the moving average that Bitcoin likes to retest during bull runs is down here at around $9,900. So I still think there is a very high chance that we will go down to retest here this price level. Also cool off a bit here the RSI because here we are still very overbought. In my own indicator so far, I didn't get a sell signal, but also here you can see that we are getting into quite overbought condition and also if you have a look into the Bollinger Band we are still trading at the top here so a retracement back here towards these two moving averages here between 10,400 and 9,470 is very likely and this is also where I have my buy orders currently if we're going to crash that low. Stochastic and MACD are still looking a bit toppy as well. So also here, I think it's just a matter of time till we're gonna have a correction down to these moving averages down here, confirm it as a support and then bounce again to the upside. And now let's have a look here on Ethereum and Chainlink as well. Let's go over into the daily time frame and open up the Ethereum chart because also here we are forming a very similar pattern like on Bitcoin. And currently we are very close to our support down here at around $400. So also here I'm expecting a possible bounce towards this $460 resistance. If we're able to break this resistance up here, this red line, then I think it is very likely that we're going to our bullish targets towards $600 to $750. But also here, if we are losing here the main support of around $400, it is very likely that we're gonna retrace towards $300 again, potentially even down towards 250 where previously we had a lot of resistance and right now this should be acting as a support the good thing is only that here currently we are cooling off the RSI so also like on Bitcoin we could have a successful bounce from the 50 level I think it is very wise to keep an eye on Ethereum because Ethereum could be a leading indicator where also Bitcoin is gonna move next so if here we're gonna see first a big bounce to the upside or a breakout to the downside this could also signal where Bitcoin is gonna move next and even here on Ethereum I got a sell signal some days ago so let's see if this is gonna play out or not even here in the weekly you can see that we're coming here right at the top so it's just a matter of days i think 
till I'm getting here also a sell signal on Ethereum. So this screams like a potential correction. So be ready for all scenarios, my friends. Even though we didn't have here a clear breakout yet, we are still within this rising wedge. So there is also a high chance that we could see some more pushes to the upside before we potentially break down here to the downside. And now let's go over to the Chainlink chart because I still have some buy orders on Chainlink between $14 down to $5. So between the 20 daily moving average and the 200 daily moving average, I think for the next parabolic run, Chainlink will be a good bet, even though right now it looks like that we could have topped out here and uh, correction down to the 20 daily i think is very likely so uh, 14 dollars most likely we're gonna reach very soon and uh, if we continue to crash so also if we continue to go lower on bitcoin and ethereum i think also chain link most likely could reach here the 200 daily moving average which currently is at five dollars 40 and uh, this would be a perfect entry if you plan to buy some cheap chain link all right, guys, and with that said, I'm going to wrap it up. Don't forget, if you want to trade Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage, you can do that on all these exchanges that I have down below here in the video description. With my links, you can get, for example, on Bybit $90 bonus, on Femex up to $80, and on BTART $258 in Tether as a bonus if you fulfill all the requirements. So definitely, if you want to use one of these exchanges or all of them, use the links that you find down below here in the video description you will get some rewards and also you support the channel and please feel free to join our free discord trading chat everyone is welcome it's completely for free so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye